When designing a house for this size, it's really important to define the spaces within the house and really show off how much space is available. When you enter into this house, it's such a lovely, wide, open, bright hallway. It really sort of sets the tone for the rest of the house. The whole idea of this room is to keep it very light and bright and crisp with the white kitchen and the light floor, but we felt the room needed a real impact and a real feature, so we decided to put this almost black feature wallpaper on the back wall. This house has such a lovely, light, bright, modern kitchen. It's really important for us to bring some oversized accessories in to really accentuate the size of the kitchen. We also wanted to bring the Moroccan terrace, which is outside, into the house. So we put some lovely oversized Moroccan lights, which is suspended over the breakfast bar. We're now stood in the Moroccan-inspired courtyard. We designed this space in partnership with countryside sales and technical teams. The idea was to create this amazing space set with inside the modern house. Cambridge is such a distinctive market. It was really important for us to have such a talking point in the house. It was beautiful, authentic Moroccan furniture with these amazing palm trees, all set within this courtyard, surrounded by the rest of the house. I think it just gives this house such a unique feel. The main living room in the house was a really important room when it came to designing this house. The idea was to create a sanctuary for the parents, somewhere that was just for them, they could lock themselves away from the rest of the house. We've intentionally used a very dark palette just to give that a real sense of grandeur and as I said, really sort of show off what a lovely room this is. Designing the kids' rooms is one of the most fun parts of designing this house. We've got two such strong rooms. In the girls' room where we stood now, we've got a beautiful Alice in Wonderland theme room. Really inspired by the book and the film, we've got a lovely mix of light, bright furniture, mixed with this lovely dark wall which sort of brings that forest feel into it. In the boys' room, we've got the uh, superhero theme room, but we've got that industrial, almost metal wallpaper on the back wall. It really sets the tone. The specification of the bathroom of the house is so smart. They've got the mirrored walls and the dark detailing. It's really important to bring a strong accent colour in to really accentuate the features. So we've got the lovely deep teal which is in the towels and the accessories. Having this room on the top floor gave us a real opportunity to have some fun. We wanted to create a lounge just for the kids. So we used this lovely corner sofa which gave a real sense of comfort but then mix it with really punchy colours and the accessories and the lighting as well as this stunning apex window that just pours light into the room. For me, the master bedroom is the most important room in the house. We want to have a real boutique hotel feel. So we used a palette of golds, bronzes, pralines to just give a lovely, luxurious feel. I can honestly say I've never worked on a house with so much outdoor space on offer. The terrace we stood on now comes straight off the master bedroom. We designed that as a bit of a chill out area for the parents, but also as a potting shed, somewhere they could come and do a bit of gardening upstairs. The terrace just behind me, it comes straight off the children's playroom. We've had a real bit of fun there, we put some artificial grass down, outdoor board games and a really squashy outdoor corner sofa. The idea was to really sort of show how the kids could come and play outside. Mm -hmm. 